Hi, welcome back to Perry Arts. I'm just getting ready for classes to begin shortly and um, I wanted to go over um, the wedging technique. Now this is the ram's head technique, wedging technique, that's, that's only one of many, but um, at the end of class, when we take our used clay, we dip it in a bucket of water um, and then put it into a plastic bag. When you take it out, it'll look something like this. Um, so if we cut it, um, we will often see that it's riddled with air pockets. Let me see if I can find a better one. So all of this kind of stuff, that's, that's, uh, that can explode in the kiln, right? So as you know, we don't want to trap any air in our clay when we're um, working with it. So um, I'm just going to work with a small bit of clay uh, just to, to give a demonstration on this technique. Um, now, it's called the ram's head because if you use your imagination, it's supposed to look like a ram and that'll help you remember to get into the right position. So if these are the eyes, this is the nose, and these are those spiral horns on the on the side. So to um, do this technique effectively, and this is a really good one for beginners um, because it's easy and manageable and and kind of you know has a visual aid to help remember how to do it properly. So if you put it up on its nose, put your hands on the horns, not on top like this, but on the horns. Push your hands together and down and slightly back. So pushing into the head and down to the nose and slightly back. Hands on the horns, pushing into the head, down to the nose and slightly back. And this will push the air out of the clay. Um, be careful that you're not folding um, the clay over the eye sockets because that will of course trap more air in the clay. Um, now, like I mentioned, there's more than one way to do this. Um, so whatever works for you works. Um, just make sure that you're making a conscious effort to push the air out of the clay as opposed to um, kneading dough where you're at least when I'm working with dough, I'm, I'm folding air into the dough, um, particularly pastry. <laughs> uh, we wanna just make a conscious effort to do the opposite here. So we're pushing into the head, down to the nose, and slightly back to push the air out of the clay. Now, once we've done this a few times, and this isn't the best wedging table, it is moving quite a bit, Good solid table is best. The best height um, is if you stand with your knuckles um, to the to the table. Uh, it should just rest comfortably at, at your sides. This table is maybe just slightly high. And the the best wedging stance is one hand one foot in front of the other, uh, giving you good balance here, and that way you can push with your body and don't, you know, you're not putting too much strain on any one part of your arms or your back or anything like that. So bent legs and one foot in front of the other, push into the clay. This becomes more important when you're wedging a larger piece of clay, obviously. Um, but there we go. So we do this a few times. If you're Taking the clay right off of the block that comes out of the bag, out of the box, um, it's not so important because it doesn't have the air pockets in it. Um, but it's still a good idea to do it a few times just to get the particles moving.
We will, of course, go over this in class, but if we went over it too quickly, um, I hope that you found this video useful, or if you're working with clay at home. Um, if you did, please like the video below there, and uh, hopefully I'll see you in class. Until then, happy claying! Thanks for watching.